Howdy y'all, welcome back to Dead Trust to Play Hard Space Shipbreaker. Let's get going. So before we pick this up, you have one incoming transmission waiting. That's a new change. Uh, there's been a big patch, uh, lots of bug fixes. So I won't go, won't belabor you with all of them. Uh, the other thing is, I spent a couple of hours grinding geckos and pulling out reactors to try and get my debt down. Uh, so I went ahead and took a peek, and it turns out it does not much matter whether you have a debt of zero or not. So we're going to go ahead without, because I think we're we're right near the end of the game. Let's go see what our call's about. Hey, Rook. I was thinking our crew should crack some beer sometime. You know, shoot the breeze, fantasize about a debt-free life and all that. <laughs> not that that's going to happen anytime soon. Like, Weaver's been at this for years. 20 maybe? I was just getting kicked out of grade school when he started. <laughs> Dee Dee sends most of her money home. Goes through lengths, of course, with huge transfer fees. And Kaido, well, look, Kai's great. He just hasn't really taken to the work. Lynx calls him a low earner. As for me, I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. I just need enough to get me one of those mining skips. You know, for belt running. Still so many rich rocks along the frontier line. Eventually want to hire some friends from back home. Oh, the Earth platforms. Around Mars? Good people. But work's hard to find there. Hmm. Don't know when that'll be, though. Just when I think I'm earning at a steady clip. There's another fine or fee. This job's fun as hell and all, but... I got other plans. Maybe you do too. Anyway, don't want to get a fine for tying up comms? Kidding! That's not a thing. I don't think. Either way, good luck, Rook. Flew out. Huh. Alrighty. Cutter 9346-52. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. Alright, so... Let's give her tools a look real quick. And we've only got 30 tokens, but we're pretty much upgraded. So we've got one more tether lifetime. A little bit more on the work suit, but I think I'd have lots on the demo charges. We almost never use them, just when we have to. So, no worries. What we are going to do right now is pick up industrial action. Let's go. All right, folks, this is it. Whew. I'm ready. You good, Kai? Yes. Yes. Okay, remember, the whole point is to show them we control the profit. So, fail all them salvage goals, trash them components, really junk up the value of that ship, you hear? <laughs> Man, Apple's gonna be so pissed. I'll do what I can to manage that. Now, as soon as you step into the yard, I'm gonna lock out the ship clock. I'm also gonna patch in everyone's salvage meters so you can see how each other's doing. Hal's liable to get mighty vocal out there, but don't ease up. You got it, boss. I got your backs. Take your time, be safe, and let loose some wanton mayhem and destruction. We were out. <laughs> All right, so maybe we do need our demo charges. Uh, oh, there we go. We got. Well, about time. Y'all still better hit those quotas today. Huh? What's going on now with the shift clock? Al, we need to talk. Not now, Joseph. The crew and I have decided it's time to talk about the conditions of our employment. You, what? Until you agree to stop treating us like trash, Treating the salvage like trash. What are you doing? Just our job. 
Wanna talk about it? I knew it! I knew this whole crew was rotten! Joseph, you stopped the clock, didn't you? Oh, did I? Maybe. <laughs> you know, technology and I don't always get along. Muted! <laughs> Not this time, Hal. Yeah! You're done, Joseph! By the end of the day, you'll be in purgatory like your little sidekick! Let's see how this goes. Oops. Pretty sure that used to be... Oh, V is this mode swap. That's all right. Good work, Cutter. Might not feel right, but it's good work. <laughs> let's, let's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's a little bit of fun. But I'm not sure that's gonna do it for us. We'll go look. Welcome to Vindatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you for your purchase. Uh, pretty wrecked. Okay. Oh, well, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right. So we're just gonna say, yep, you get in there. Remember what our objective is here. Airlock depressurizing. Get on in there. Oh, there's the. Uh, okay. One for that. Do everything but. <laughs> yeah. There's one there. Let's get right through those guys if we can get them. Alright. There's a lot going on here. Let's get on all the way up here and get a good look at it. What do you even think this will accomplish? Not you, 52. Really? You're gonna let yourself be taken in by these clowns? Curazon, your sugar rations are cut off! Permanently! That's so? Hey, where do thrusters go again? I can never remember. The furnace? Well, well I've got a few things I can still... Oh, not you too, Kaido! I had hope for you, son. You know what this means. You know, sir, Mr. Rhodes, you better listen to Weaver. Remember, Hal, we're just looking to talk. You make a call to arrange it, we'll get back to business as usual. The only call I'm making is to loss prevention. You all are in serious, serious trouble. Eh, gonna be a big dent in the profit reports by the time they get here. This is the most efficient I've ever been. <laughs> That's it! Penalties for all of you! Destruction of company property, insubordination, improper use of equipment, 10 20 million credits. Oh yeah? That going on top of the millions we already owe? Yeah, sloppy cutting fee, 50,000 credits. Y using a right-handed tool in your left-hand fee, 600,000 credits. Uh, what on earth are you talking about? Sarcasm fee! Come on, Hal. Informally addressing a superior fee! 
You ready to arrange that chat yet, Hal? Joseph, what have you done? None of these stupid things are working. Oh man, Didi is wrecking it. Ah, uh, there's our origin. Forgot to block out, Joseph. <laughs> ah, beautiful. How, you stupid Teddy? Remember this, people. You don't have power here. Hang on, folks. Hey, Weaver. Dang it! Joseph! You are a disgrace to Link supervisors everywhere! I'm just helping the crew work. Simmer down now, Hal. Simmer down. Let's see. Salvage is destroyed. Don't do that. Salvage Damn it, 52! <laughs> we got a little ways to I go can't still. I can't believe how wrong I was about you. We're nothing alike. You're just a hooligan. Touching a nerve now, Cutter. Don't fret none. Keep going. Go ahead and fix it again. I'm waiting with my finger on the button. Hal, let's be real. I know you think this is what you need to do. But is your position really any better? Does Link see you any different than the rest of us? You know the difference between you people and me? I know Lynx treats you like slaves. Hell, that's why they're the biggest in the solar system. I made it to the winning team. People like you trying to lift each other up. You're just letting others keep you down with them. For what? We own you. I got the right to do whatever I want to you. You were nothing until Lynx found you. Obedience is success. You've chosen to cross the company that gave you a chance. We'll drive you into the ground with debt. We'll give you work so dangerous you'll revive 20 times a day until your DNA comes apart at the seams. And when you come back as a useless, gibbering blob, we'll make your family pick up the bill. Woo. I think we're done trying to reason with you, Hal. Can't keep a man down without staying down with him, hell. Should know that. blast into the furnace. That's not really doing much for us. This is how we're gonna work, huh? Alright. That's right, Cutter. Doing good. Don't do that. Alright, let's get that on in there. Sure what else we've got in here, sort of bits and bobs. Oh yeah, all right, you can go into the furnace. What else we got in here? Salvage 
It's fine, we'll keep hitting cut points. <clears throat> Alice, I'm gonna go for you. Alright, there we go. Oh, nobody's past redemption, hell, not even you. Did I drop something in there on accident? Alright. Get all these. Close here pretty quick. We're out of cut points. Very good. Can I send you out there? Permanent demerit 52. Steady on, Cutter. I kind of like to send you. Actually, I can send you to the processor, huh? Is that the right place? The wrong place, as it were. can go on in there. You get on in there. Okay. How about you? Can I send you over there? Might be light enough. We'll try it. <laughs> We're just gonna go ham here. Put it right down the middle. Please 
All right, let's see if we can bounce something into the processor. Nope. We're still attached somewhere here in the middle. Consequences, Hal. Hal, that boy's death is on you. Hold up. Hello? Kai? Kaido? Kaido, you there? Can you hear me? We hear you, kiddo. We hear you. <laughs> yeah, Mike got busted again. <laughs> That's all. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hell, that was a mighty perilous thing to do. I, uh, how, uh, how could I know what would happen? We'll be back tomorrow asking for the same thing. A talk with your bosses. You talk to me. That's all you get. We're done here. Turn in, everyone. Y'all earned it. Huh. <laughs> we actually made a little money. Let's see what happens. And another one. Okay. Transmission waiting. You really whooped them out there, Cutter. I'm proud of you. Hal overstepped, and he knows it. Now, we cornered that bobcat, and he lashed out. But you saw the terror in him. He was scared of us 
And now that we got the ball rolling, other crews will follow suit. Oh, and don't worry about Kaido. He'll be out of commission until there's a new backup in place. Just gonna be another hit to the profit reports. Hal's only made himself look even worse. <laughs> and not just to Lynx. See, comms is recorded every shift. Standard Lynx procedure. Uh, it's possible today's recording has already made its way into the hands of someone who can share it with a wider audience. I don't rightly know where things go from here, but I do know that tomorrow's feeling mighty hopeful. I'm proud of this crew. Rest easy, Cutter. We were out. All right. Kaido Kovechkin, your backup data is officially deleted. The wheels of bureaucracy turn slowly. And when you come back as a useless, gibbering blob, we'll make your family pick up the bill. But turns out you can grease them with a little bit of public controversy. Shocking evidence has come to light. Link scrambled to get some goons together. Of course, put us back in line. But the news was already all over it. Things happened fast, even quicker than we'd hoped. The Stellar Commission actually stepped in. They deemed Lynx's Everwork program a human rights violation. The Commission recognized the union and then forced Lynx to the table. And there really wasn't much Lynx could do at this point. We agreed to keep the Everwork program to continue protecting workers. The job's still dangerous after all, but we demanded some major changes to the policies. First, full reversal of the huge fees forced onto the program's participants. Then, complete removal of clauses like 19C, their whole bag of tricks designed to strip us of our rights. Almost overnight, our humanity was restored. Lynx also ditched their swarm of administrators. They no longer served a purpose to the company. As for Hal Rhodes, Lynx couldn't ignore that he was at ground zero of our revolt. He's right back at his old job, processing real backbreaking work. Calicia Rye Paulson went untouched, of course, and everything on the administrators. <laughs> I mean, that's how it works, Lou. And yep. the rest of her family? continue to operate and profit from Lynx. Some of us will continue to fight. Others, they're just happy to get back to work. The Reversal Report. Negotiations with the Shipbreakers Union have resulted in some unexpected changes to the Lynx Corporation's Salvage Division Work Agreement. Below is a report on the reversal of certain charges to your account. Any discrepancies must be reported within 12 hours. In order to ensure you are as informed as possible, all employees are encouraged to read the pros and big cons of unionization information handout in their employee terminal. <laughs> 7.50 to display the report. Nice. Let's see where we go. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Your Theta Wave levels are high. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. <laughs> Defri <Death> Star. <laughs> morning, folks. Today's the day we finally get back to work. All proper like. And... Welcome back, Lou. It feels great to be back. And I'm ready to race. Anyone wanna? Come on, kid. You just got back. Oh, whoa, whoa. why don't y'all play it safe today while you clear the cobwebs, all right? Whoa. <laughs> ah, maybe another time, Lou. Oh, but glad you're back. Kaido out. I, uh... I should go keep an eye on that kid. Well... I got a rusty old javelin with my name on it. 
see you out there. Spare a moment, Cutter. A couple things I gotta talk to you about. First off, go ahead. Look out your viewport for me. Uh... <laughs> That's right. Finally got Beulah impound. Took a fair amount of sweet talking and a touch of barring. Anywho, thought you'd be keen to get back at fixing the old girl up. I am. We were. I am. Me to my next point. Open up your employee terminal for me. Access that new option there. Contract status. New mandate. Employees require a clear and simple breakdown of their contract status. Now, what I wanted you to see is you can also end your contract from here. However, there's two prerequisites to part ways with the company. First, you gotta clear your debt. The new regs wiped out a ton, but some folks still got a bit of work to do to get in the green. Second, you need personal transport off station. That means old Beulah needs to be fully operational. Once those requirements are met, you can take the out, if you want, of course. If you're just as happy salvaging away, by all means, keep at it. Okay, close all that for now. I got one last thing I want to talk about. Now, this might come as a bit of a shock, but an opportunity's arisen for me, Earthside. One of them chances you gotta grab at for gets away. What I'm saying is, well, I'm retiring. Today, in fact. Trying to go out on a high note, as they say. Dee Dee's gonna run things while corporate figures out a replacement. Might not be as talkative as me, but she'll keep the rudder true. I wanted to wish you luck, Cutter. I'm glad we got the opportunity to work together. And who knows? Maybe you hear from me again sometime. <laughs> Weaver out. Well, good luck, Weaver. Good luck. All right, we got a little bit more to go. I'm going to end it here. If you've got any tips or tricks for me, I'd love to hear them. As always, thanks for watching.